What's up YouTube, Warriors Warriorzoiner here with another build video. Today we're going to be building our very own Bluetooth speakers. So let's take a look at the materials that we're going to need for today. The hardware that you're going to need is going to be some scrap wood. I'm using some pieces from a cabinet that I found. Uh, this is just a wooden box that I had, so that's going to be nice for the project. Uh, you're going to also want to grab some wood glue and some wood stain and of course a pencil. Uh, the electronics that you're going to need is I picked up these speakers off Amazon. Link will be in the description below. These are GRS3FR speakers. They're full range. They're 4 ohms. So they should sound pretty good inside a uh, nice wooden box. I'm going to also want to pick up this amplifier board that I picked up off Amazon as well for about 12 bucks. It's honestly incredible. For the amount that it can put out, it's just great. So I'm going to start with building the enclosure, since that should be pretty much the hardest part about this build. So we can go ahead and set all of our electronics aside. And basically this is going to be the enclosure for it. It's going to be about half of it. And one of these is going to be the front panel. Now we can cut that out. Alright, so now we have all our pieces cut out. We're just going to do a quick dry fit to make sure they're all pretty good measurements. This would be the top panel. This would be the bottom panel. And as you can see, I have this uh, box recessed a little bit. So, this top panel can squeeze right in the middle of both. And just like that, have a nice wooden enclosure. So this is going to be the front of the box right here. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to cut out our speaker holes. Alright, so as you can see I've traced out the circles here. The way I've done that is this can diameter was basically the same as the speaker. So I just placed it right there and traced around it. And now it's time to cut that out. Alright, so we've cut out the rough holes for this uh, speaker to fit in. We can see that if we just kind of maneuver the speaker in there a bit, we can see that the speaker is just almost about there. Just a few touch-ups with a file and we should be good to go. pretty much finished the holes for the speakers to fit in so we're going to see how they fit right now you can see this one fit flush right onto the board that's great and the next one fit in as well all right center them as much as you can mark up the holes and we're going to drill them out so here we have the dry fit of all the pieces together before the gluing
and we're just gonna let it dry for the rest of the day and we can get to work on the other parts of this project I just cut these uh, little supporters for the corners so it's just gonna go right inside the box just like that right against it and that'll pretty much support all the corners so I'm glue those in right now so what you're going to need is just two sets of two wires preferably two different colors you're going to need some solder soldering iron and of course after to test that it works the amplifier board Alright, so now that we have our speakers hooked up, we can go ahead and just plug in a power supply to this and give those speakers a test. Alright, so we know the speakers are working because of that boot up sound that we just heard came out of the speakers. So now that our box is done and dried, we can start applying the varnish. It's going to be Gunstock 231. We're applying to the exterior of the box, so let's get to it. So I've just extended the wires from the battery, I had to cut off the port, and we're going to attach this switch now. And as a test to just make sure we're working here, have the switch flipped off here, it's plugged in, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And there we go, we have power. So now that we know this is working, we can move on to putting everything back together and finishing it up. So here's a basic rundown of the power that is going to be for the speakers. We have the batteries over here clipped in, and we have this power port right here and the switch running out to the outside in the back which is right there so you can see you can flip that on and off and as well as here is the charging ports I found some old grills from some old desktop speakers so I plan to mount these onto the front plate as well it will add a nice speaker looking touch just like that and get ready to put everything where it belongs piecing together the final design and now we can put in the screws And there you have it, the finished Warrior Zoino Bluetooth speakers. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video, hope you enjoyed. Right before I end this video, we're going to test out the speakers just so you can get an idea of how they sound. So I have smartphone connected to the speakers, and we're just going to go ahead and play a song. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching.
watching. Go ahead, drop a comment down below and leave a like. Warriors, I know. Out.